It made a splash when it debuted in Melbourne and audiences in Sydney have been pouring through the doors. Now, Singing in the Rain has made its way to Brisbane. All I do is dream of you the whole night. This current Australian touring production of Singing in the Rain is as good as it gets, featuring high-octane choreography, large-scale sets, sumptuous costumes and a superb cast. Based on the iconic 1952 MGM movie of the same name starring Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds, the musical is packed full of charm, romance, comedy and Tinseltown glamour of the much-loved movie. Nominated for three Helpman Award nominations, the production has assembled an impressive cast, including Grant Almirall and Rowan Brown, who share the role of leading man Don Lockwood. What's it like sharing this role? What is it like sharing this role? <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's such it's a relief. It, it is. It is a huge um, undertaking to do this role. It's you know to be likened to a marathon. Um, so to, to run a marathon eight times a week is just near impossible. To to continue that over months and months of touring and touring schedule. So to have Birth Grant and I uh, doing this role means that we can we can actually give it our all every single performance for the four shows we have each week and the audience is getting a wonderful um, you know absolute performance. You have to be pretty identical in your moves with you because I mean otherwise we're sort of cast people. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, there's, uh, the, the show's choreographed in a certain mm. way, so we both do the same choreography. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I mean, obviously our characterisation is definitely different. Yeah. Because we and our background, and our background of, yeah. of our dance kind of history is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there are some subtle change differences um, in terms of that, but it's essentially, yeah, it yeah. has to be the same. Yeah. For the Especially the partner work, yeah. of, you know, with with your Cathy's and with the Broadway Melody Girl, yeah. you know, you have to kind of keep a continuum for them because they're doing our shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we kind of have to work to work. So when you're not performing on stage and the rest of the company's working hard, where are you guys in the hotel? <laughs> no, in our dressing room. In our dressing room. Because yeah. if anything happens to one of us, say, you know, if something happens to me mid-show, then Rowan have to step in for me during the show and vice and versa. Yeah. So, so yeah. We're, we're on call, we're here. We're here, yeah. just, you know. In the building. Yeah, maybe we swap it on the same show. Yeah, yeah. tag team. Yeah. yeah. Um, that will never happen. <laughs> Just like in the movie, the show features all the songs from the glorious MGM score, including Make Em Laugh, Moses Supposes, Singing in the Rain and the feel-good song, Good Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. Set in 1927, it tells the story of the first Hollywood musical, when the silver screen found its voice and left silent movies and some of its stars behind. Don Lockwood is a silent movie star with everything he could want, fame, adulation and a well-publicised romance with his co-star Lena Lamont. But Lena has a voice that could clear a theatre in seconds, and so the plot to dub her voice begins. One key factor to this character isn't it the voice because that really hinges on the storyline. It sure does. Lena Lamont is um, one power, one part of uh, Tinseltown's power couple. Don Lockwood and Lena Lamont. She's a she's a fame hungry, narcissistic, delusional actress who um, she's she's beautiful, but she doesn't really have the voice to match. Yes, and, and uh, do we get a sample of that voice? Uh, you're gonna have to come tonight to hear that. Oh my God! Gotta be careful not to talk. Now let's talk about the wardrobe. Fabulous wardrobe. It must be nice to glam up. I think it, you know, it is nice to have just a casual day look going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I eat my breakfast in. To achieve the famous singing in the rain scene, the production uses over 800 metres of flexible pipework, a 9,000 kilogram water tank and a water system that creates a downpour from above as well as flooding from below the stage. In total raining, over 12,000 litres of recycled water per performance.
In the role of Don's sidekick, Cosmo Brown, is the dynamic Jack Chambers, who earned a Helpman nomination as Best Supporting Male in a Musical. Of course, many remember Donald O'Connor in the role, including Jack, who takes the added pressure in his stride. Absolutely, there's a lot of pressure to uh, follow in his footsteps. Um, uh, but I have a lot of fun, to be honest with you. And I, I haven't tried to copy Donald O'Connor. I mean, I know the, music, the, the movie very, very well. I saw it as a kid. And, um, but I've, ever since I got the role, I've purposely not to look back at the film to try and bring my own, my own essence to the role. And um, that's what I've tried to accomplish. And, and so far, it seems to be working. So. <laughs> well, of course, uh, I mean, the role as he, he did it, and no doubt you'll do it, is a very energetic role. I mean, yeah. lots of dancing. It must kill you doing the show eight times a week. <laughs> it's very physical, and I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's exhausting. Um, but it's such a fun show that and I keep I keep repeating myself and talking about how joyful the show is. And it, but it just really is the music. Like if I'm walking in on on one of my off days and I'm just feeling exhausted, as soon as the orchestra plays and as soon as I'm in costume, you just get this hidden energy that just takes over you, and you can you can do what you do. Um, but we've also got to be really careful and you know we make sure we. Definitely warming up properly and cooling down and looking after our bodies so that we can do it eight times a week. Now, Jack, who would have thought 10 years ago when you were doing community theatre in Brisbane, you'd be back here doing this uh, lavish uh, multi million dollar musical? I know, it's, it's a wonderful full circle. It's, um, I, as I'm assuming, yeah, you know that yeah, Singing in the Rain was my first musical at Conservatorium um, with Ocean Theatre Company. And so I played Young Cosmo Brown. I, I mean, I had 10 minutes worth of stage, stage time, but I. I Remember that experience really fondly, and I absolutely adored it. Um, so, yeah, when Sing in the Rain came up this time, I was like, I have to <laughs> get into that show. And so, yeah, it's worked out for me. Well, I guess uh, back in 2008 with uh, So You Think You Can Dance, I mean, that's really what launched it all for you. Yes, that, that really put my, my face out there, um, and yeah, put me on the map. Um, but then I left for New York quite short after, so then I, I, I thought people would forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. No, surprisingly, yeah. <laughs> well, mate, it's a joyful musical, as you said, and uh, it's one of the classics. Great to see it here in Brisbane, and good to see a Brizzy boy in one of the leads. Yes, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> the role of aspiring actress Kathy Selden is played by the extraordinary Gretel Scarlet. Robin Arthur takes the role of Hollywood gossip reporter Dora Bailey, and the other standout is movie mogul R.F. Simpson, played by Mike Bishop. Singing in the Rain will only play five short weeks here in Brisbane, so make sure you book your tickets now on qpac.com.au or phone QTix 136 246.